Interpol is investigating a $12 billion money laundering scheme involving Nigerian and Kenyan businessmen, including former Nigerian Vice President Atiku Abubakar and Kenya's current Vice President Mr. William Ruto. The money is reported to have been looted from Kenya's numerous development projects, including two Megadam projects and hidden in international banks and is now being channeled back to Mr. Ruto to fund his election campaigns. The international agency has flagged $2.5 billion which has been transferred between Nigerian politicians and Kenyan's banks linked to Mr. William Ruto under numerous businesses registered under Mr. William Ruto's wife and son's names. Interpol has also listed Nigerian Alexander Izenago a banker and lecturer in Dubai as the operation's money laundering advisor, enabling the businessmen to transfer the questionable funds back to Kenya from where they had been sourced from numerous corruption operations involving Mr. William Ruto and his associates. Kenyan authorities have already frozen $56 million which has been transferred to Mr. William Ruto by Mr. Izenagu through two banks and which were traced back from a corruption scam involving two mega dams and a fraudulent Italian company hired by Mr. Ruto to help steal the construction funds worth $2.8 billion for the construction of the Arrow and Kimwara dams. The money Interpol has intercepted is also linked to several questionable businesses Mr. Ruto owns, including Coilel Farms, an exclusive ranch which received payments for non-existent animals sold to the government and most profits are hidden abroad. Interpol reports that it is these illegally stored billions that the syndicate is now trying to funnel back to Mr. Ruto with Nigerian politicians and businessmen taking commissions for their role in the money laundering process. Both Mr. Izenagu and former Vice President Abubakar are living in the Middle East where the former Vice President fled to avoid arrest and prosecution for taking part in the corruption against Nigeria. Mr. Ruto has made several trips to visit Mr. Abubakar in Dubai and it is reported that this is where he was introduced to Mr. Izenagu who later married Mr. Ruto's daughter. Interpol has reported Mr. Izenagu has been used to transfer the funds to Kenya. In exchange, Mr. Abubakar and his Nigerian associates receive a commission for providing false documents to Udwink investigators. Three businesses have been identified to receive the illegal money, namely the 680 Hotel, OIT Africa, and Remix Limited, which are all owned by Vice President William Ruto. Interpol has made requests to the government of Nigeria and Kenya to freeze the accounts involved in the money laundry scam as they prepare to arrest and extradite Mr. Izenagu and Mr. Abubakar and complete two other separate investigations against Mr. Ruto.